wanted to start off this half inning. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter, but it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. Stepping into the box, Lionel Hulk, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Pena giving chase, one down. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, Dero? Hey, Matt, the first thing I notice when I walk into Miller Park is those gaps are super tight. You got to get greedy in a ballpark like this. There's a lot of damage to be had. This park plays really, really tiny at times. So look for this offense to try and drive the ball. So striding forward now, Dino Chassin. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Here's a look over to first. Don't want to forget about him. Runner goes for second. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Now a throw over, and he'll dive back in. Full count here. Here comes the pitch towards second. And there are two away now. Batting fourth, center fielder, Harvey Ware. So coming to the plate, Harvey Ware. First opportunity for him here with the leadoff man still standing at second. Two gone now. The 1-1 one, one. misses for the second ball. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Leroy at second with two down. Now a ball line softly down the right field line. Foul. Here now the 2 2. Swung on and missed strike three. So they get a man to second here in the top half, but he's stranded there. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Art Bright, a Kentucky born right hander, gets the starting nod. Dan Pleszak, what do you got? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on. But I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Stepping up now, Austin Pena. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Yeah. A ball and two strikes now. Count one and two. Ball two. The two two. And now a soft liner to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for route number one. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. What's the key for a home victory tonight, Dero? Well, Matty, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods, just young guys, hungry, aggressive, trying to do damage and move traffic to both gaps. Line to line power up and down this lineup. Should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses their aggressiveness against them. At the play, Carson James, he'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing.
Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. Hit high and deep to right center. Where? On the move. He makes the running play. Two down. Batting third. First baseman. Reggie Godfrey. Stepping into the box. Reggie Godfrey. No one aboard for him. And two gone here in the first. A ball and two strikes. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. An inning in the books tonight still scoreless here on MLB Network. Digging in, Ford Sweat, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Here now the two two. This is in the air out to left field. Dugan coasts under it. One out. All right, here's how the home side's lining up defensively. And over at first base in this one today is the guy that can pick it with the best of them. And I can't overstate that enough. As a former middle infielder, when you could close your eyes and throw it over to first base, knowing it was getting picked out of the grass or picked out of the dirt, man, what a comfortable feeling. Settling in now, Tawn Matson. To third. James right there. And that's the second out. Batting seven. First baseman. Brent Sneed. At the plate, Fred Sneed. Now the 2 1. Swinging a blooper to the right side. Pena is going to get there, and the inning is over. Late now is the designated hitter, C.J. Bunch. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the visitors. And the average big league shortstop can make every play. But can they make the highlight real play? In order to do that, you got to be able to put your back foot in the ground and absolutely unload from that 5.5 hole if you're playing shortstop. And that's what this guy does. He brings a different element to the game. He has got an absolute hand cannon. Stepping up to the plate, Robbie Wilkinson. Full count, here it comes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. You pull a fastball like that, you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit, play more gap to gap, and keep that front shoulder square pointed towards the pitcher. That'll keep everything on plane. And he looks at ball four now, so he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Ready now, Andy Dugan. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. A 1 1. A pitch out. The throw. And 
just great defensive baseball there as they will nail him at second on the pitch out. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag. But he got rid of it quickly. And it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Way in front of that fastball. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Still full, three and two. The next three, two. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. No chance to make a play. Let's see if he's okay out there. That's the difference in today's games. Pitchers will throw any pitch in any count, but the batter was able to deliver on a three two breaking ball. Digging in, Jeff Bunty. Throw over to first, and a dive, but he's back. Dugan is off of first with two away. A little bit outside, two and one. Throw over to the bag, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Just got a piece to the right side. Foul ball, strike two. Now a throw over to first, just keeping him float. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swing and a looper to left. Matson has it in his sights. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. We played two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. And Hayes is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 11, Ken Hayes. Digging in now, Ryan Field. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Batting ninth. Into the box, Jamie Castaneda. Third inning, no score to this point. That fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. 0 2 pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. He strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this Will inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Digging in to try it again. Will Leroy. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. Sent on the ground out the second. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. And we are tied nothing nothing. Rod Laird is ready and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 27. Rod Laird. Now to the plate Kazuhito Yabuta.
A sinker over the outside corner for strike two. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Into the corner and slicing foul. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Fouled away. Once again, a 3 2. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Batting ninth. Now at the plate, Roscoe Reinecker. Reinecker. Fouled off. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Leroy has a play, makes the play, and there are two gone now. The right fielder, number four, Austin Payton. Stepping in, Austin Pena, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Matson on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Ken Burley gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Western Division, number 12, Ken Early. Striding forward now is the DH, Lionel Hulk. He flew out in his last at bat. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Bunty will wait on it, and he puts it away for the first down. Now batting, third baseman, Gino Chassin. Striding in once again, Dino Chassin. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Hit back up the middle. That's a base hit, their first of the game. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Into the box now, Harvey Ware. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Swing and a miss much too early, and that makes it a full count. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Another full count pitch home. And there's a base hit on the line. Now Stepping in and ready for another Ford. shot. Ford Sweat. Wow. 
and he lays off it to even the count two and two. Chassin on second, where at first one gone. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. That's back to back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. 3 2 pitch. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K. Wiggle out of the jam and keep this game tied. So digging in now, Pawn Matson. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Two down runners at first and second. Popped him up. Bunty ranging into shallow right. And that ends the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. To the bottom of inning number four we go. And we are tied nothing nothing. You're Rick White point. takes the mound as now he's been 40, called upon to pitch. Division. Number 14, Rick, Rick White. At the play, Carson James. Grounded back up the middle. And a good throw gets him one gone. First baseman, number nine, Reggie Godfrey. So stepping in, Reggie Godfrey. swing and a deep drive to left and this one is gone a home run a solo shot here to left as they get on the board first it's one to nothing You know, as a pitcher, there's nothing worse than getting taken deep, but it's something every pitcher has to deal with. Even the best pitchers give up home runs. You just have to refocus and go after the next hitter. In now, C.J. Bunch. And that's low ball four. Well, it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind. He had him three and two, but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit, so we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. Stepping in, Robbie Wilkinson. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. A pie, two and one now. Now the 2-1. Runners on the move for second. Ball even at 2-2. Two and two. Oh, 
Oh, he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Standing in now, Andy Dugan. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Coming to the plate now, Jeff Bunty. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Looking to minimize the damage here. And he comes back with a fastball, 1 and 2 now. Bunch over at second. Dugan at first, two out in the inning. Swing and he pops him up. Chassin is there to make the catch and the side is retired. So they pick up a run on the solo home run as that will give them the lead. On to the top of inning number five we go. The West Stars are on top one to nothing. You're Fernando Herrera will take the ball now, now as the new pitcher. The Western Division. Number seven Fernando Herrera. Now batting, Fred Sneed comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hey. Fastball called strike, 1 and 2. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Swing and a soft liner that gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Man he got the front foot down right there kept the front shoulder tough and was able to stay inside that ball for a soft liner in the center. Stepping in now, Brian Field to two balls and two strikes now. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. A tag for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Now batting, shortstop, King Castaneda. In now, Jamie Castaneda. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. The 3 1. Line toward right center. That gets down, and the inning continues. Just an unbelievable piece of hitting right there. Staying on the inner half of that baseball right there. Staying to it and through it. Not coming around it and able to drive it the other way for a base hit. Now we'll step off and fire to the bag. But the runner's back easily. Into the box, Will Leroy. One and two now as that one's fouled off. A runner on first with two away. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two.
the 2 2. Popped him up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there, and the inning is over. So no runs on two base hits, no errors, and a runner left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The West Stars lead this one one to nothing. Steven Burkhart is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 26, Steven Burkhart. Standing in, Kazuhito Yabuta. The 1-1. One -one. Is a fastball that misses. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. I got to count. Two and two. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Roscoe Reinecker will be next. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Well, he's a youngster. You can see he's a little nervous out there. Some people call it butterflies, but to him it probably feels like pterodactyls are flying around in his gut going to be interesting to see if he can settle down here. So striding in Roscoe Reinecker. Here's the one one. Aye. Big curve ball right down the middle for strike number two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Yabuta gets his lead at first. Nobody out. No offer at the curve that time. And it's knotted up at two and two. He's got him on the ropes at two and two. But I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times. So it's not going to surprise him anymore. And a dive. But he's back in there. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Well, you got to love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball. And if he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff, he's going to have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. Into the box now, Austin Pena. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. The one two. He's on the move again from first. High in the air out towards shallow right. Leroy will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Now batting. Carson James. Ready for another shot now. Carson James. Working for the punch out and the offering. Back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two-strike approach right there. Made a nice two-strike adjustment. Standing in now, Reggie Godfrey. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Where is in pursuit, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Yeah. 
Sammy Hernandez takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 46, Sammy Hernandez. Digging in once again, Lionel Hulk. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. The 1-1. One, one is taken for ball two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 2 1 home. Runs a bit inside for a ball. Down by a run your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Hit back up the middle. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm, nicely done. Stepping in now, Dino Chassin. A swing and a ground ball to third. James charging in on it and there's out number two. Now batting center fielder Harvey Ware. So here's the cleanup hitter Harvey Ware a hit in two tries so far. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. The West Stars are on top, one to nothing. Number 55 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 55. Next will be the designated hitter, C.J. Bunch. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Hard sinker misses two and two. two, balls, two and a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Now batting. Tenor Fielder. Now at the plate, Robbie Wilkinson. One out, nobody on. This one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Matson is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting left fielder Andy Dugan. Digging in, Andy Dugan. 1-1. One, one. There's looked at for ball number two. Play ball. Four, four. Take the base. Damian Magnifico is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number, number seven. Boone Donovan will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Now the 2-2. Two -two. 
Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The 2 2 one more time. Line drive to center field. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Boy, talk about hitting into some rough luck. That was an absolute Manson. bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented a tying run. Your Nick Franklin will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's a high pop-up. James over to his left. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batter. First baseman. Fred Sneed. Now in the box. Fred Sneed. He singled his last time up. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. A swing and a miss at a ball down. And that slider is almost in the dirt. Bases are empty here with two men out. Another 2 2. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. It's time for the traditional seventh inning strike. Your Boone Donovan who will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. Boone Donovan. Nick Franklin will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Augustin Encarnacion gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Now at the plate, Roscoe Reinecker. The 2 1 is looked at for ball three. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. The 3 1. Bullet back up the middle. Where? Patrolling center makes the play one out. Now batter, right fielder, Austin. Nathaniel Zarate will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Zarate. One out, nobody on. I changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Bouncer to the left side. Chassin is up with it. On to first, and there were two down. Had to protect there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of that. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Doug Newhand will get the call to pinch hit here, as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Doug Newhand. The one two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Your 
Nathaniel Zarate will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Nathaniel Zarate. Doug Newhand is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Orlando Trujillo has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Orlando Trujillo. Josh Chen is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch. That's the first out of the inning. Pitching certainly has been on display in this one. And there's the evidence of it right there. one nothing our score, as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Quincy Figueroa will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Figueroa. Hits are now even at four apiece. And he lays That's off, ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. Dominic Smith will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 22, Dominic Smith. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. He's running. Not much behind this as this ball is looped over toward first. Take it to the bag for the out, and there's your unassisted double play. So they go down without a whimper here. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The West Stars lead this one one to nothing. Josh Chen will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Dominic Smith will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Pablo Castro is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Victor Zavala is also into the game as he takes over at short. Tom Jew is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. A little low, it's two and two. Takes this the other way to right. And that finds some outfield grass, it's a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. I mean, that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down 0-2, no put away pitch, works to count back to neutral, and is able to mix in a base hit. Nice job. Jose Santiago is into the ball game as a defensive replacement. He'll be the new shortstop here. Brian Chang come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Brian Chang. Jew aboard here at first with nobody out. Ball. Up and in on the hands, it's two balls and a strike. <laughs> Gets the sign. Here comes the two one. There's a strike. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Hit hard on the ground at first. 
A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, Dero, when you're starting to swing it like this team, this doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitcher, right? And he gets greeted with back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. In today's day and age of bullpen down your throat, you very rarely see back-to-back -back knocks when these guys are throwing smoke. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early, and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes, and they're jumping all over him. None out. Runners at first and second. Two and two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back four. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. Payoff pitch home, and he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. These guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Number 13 will get a chance to really deliver off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the bases loaded and nobody out. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. The batter, number 10, second baseman, Jeff Bunty. Into the box now, Jeff Bunty. One one on the ground left side. That's a base hit. And now the runner from third scores to give him a very important insurance run. It's a two nothing ball game. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a one-run game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. Ball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. Now the two one. Count even at two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Down the first baseline, the second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Looked like that might be an inning-ending double play off the bat, but that was some great hustle to beat the throw at first. Keeps the inning alive, and more importantly, he gets an RBI because of it. In now, Roscoe Reinecker oh, inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. Now we'll step off the rubber and go to first. And he's back easily. Runners on first and third, two away. And another snap throw to the back, keeping particularly close tabs on him. So two and two now. Step off the rubber and go to first. And he's back in standing.
Here's the 2-2. Pops this one up. Sneed on the move. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Ninth inning coming up. The West Stars are on top, three to nothing. Tom Jew will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Number 31, Tom Jew. Rick Rock will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Number 13 will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Steven Fiore comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Steven Fiore. Lon Roderick is going to be asked to try and be the rally starter as he's up off the bench, ready to lead it off in the ninth. Roderick. High in the air out towards shallow right. Zarate is there. One away. Standing in, Dino Chassin. Bases are empty, one man out. This is on the ground over to first. Jew takes it in. And he'll take this on to first. And they're down to their final out, two away. Center fielder, Harvey Webb. Anthony Sierra will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Sierra. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense. Does he take a step back and relax a little bit, or does he call a team meeting right after this? He Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. The West Division took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Ken Early is the winning pitcher of record. So that's a wrap here tonight. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, we're all thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. Western Division of the Eastern League. Three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. For the Eastern Division of the Eastern League, no runs. Four hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time to the ball game. Two hours and 38 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.